What's up everybody, it's Wesley B. And you're watching Vidiot LP. Let's play for Flashback Friday. Today we're gonna do Flashback. It just felt right, you know? We're gonna do the uh, Sega version. It's the one I grew up with, so it's really the only one that I know well, at least. I'm gonna try and keep most of the storyline elements intact. So if you are familiar with the storyline, feel free to skip the storyline elements, such as the holocube. I'm not going to speak through those. If you're not familiar with the story, please watch it. It's a really good game. It's a really good story. start, I've never actually played this game on uh, Expert, so I'm going to actually try, for the first time ever, playing it on Expert. Should be fun. Alright, so as you can see, it kind of starts off, it's got this sort of a side-scroller feel, it's real fun. Real fun kind of game. Excellent graphics, amazing music. But it's it's not typical of your usual side scroll. It's more of a puzzle game. And right off the bat, we're going to start with some storyline. So if you know the story, feel free to skip this part. I haven't played this game in a really long time, and I'm fairly convinced that that fucking song has been stuck in my head for 15 years. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try that again, shall we? Aw, oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to skip the robot that's below. Really not necessary to kill him, although I do see something flashing down here. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Probably credits. It looks like... Whoa. I just got shot. That was a little bit of a surprise. And that was a little bit too easy. You know, that goes to show you, it's very important to, to think about what you're going to do from one screen to the next. If you sort of bumble around, you might actually end up getting shot or, you know, bumbling into a trap. Look at that little robot trying to get me. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember this. There we go. Cartridge. This is one of those key items. You, have, you can't miss it or you won't be able to progress later on in the game. There are various various random items that are playing around, mostly credits at least, that I can remember. I don't that's stones, I think, too. But most of the items you're gonna find, there's not a whole lot of rubbish. You're gonna find most of the stuff you're gonna find is useful in some way. And this cartridge is going to be a sort of a key to get us across this little gap here. 
Ah, but you see, we need to charge it first. So let's go do that. Ah, and there's one of those little traps. If you'd have just ran right through not knowing it was there. I don't really know what it is. It's, it's maybe some acid or something. It looks like it's tickling a giant ball sack. At any rate, it kills you instantly if you run through it. Or if you even so much as touch it. Same goes for these little things. They're like little landmines. Maybe plasma landmines. That makes sense. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. You don't want to step on them. They hurt. This right here is a generator you get to recharge your shields with. Your shields can hold up to four shots. I think most people who are watching this Let's Play probably already know this, but it looks like a little battery, doesn't it? Like a little Duracell. I'm going to go out and get me a package of Duracells. They can stop bullets at full charge, apparently. Behold the awesomeness that is Duracell. And that one was pretty easy. Here's one of those fun little traps. Or I shouldn't say traps, this is more like a puzzle. It's a fun little puzzle. Not really that complicated though. Pretty simple shit. Most of it I think in the early game is. It starts getting a little more complicated as you get further into the game. They get teleporters and whatnot. Well, that, that sucks. He needs urgent medical assistance. Gosh, I wonder how long he's been sitting there bleeding out. And, you know, I just don't happen to have a, a first aid kit on me. I guess that guy's screwed. I guess that leaves us with having to go out into the forest and find a ship. Alright, so now that we got our charged cartridge here, we can head back to that little gap and see how it's going to let us get across. Okay. Ah. Fancy little bridge. You know, there are a couple of other games that are very similar to this, um, namely Blackthorn. And, uh, I, in fact, I think US Gold even produced a few others that are similar to this. And it just, it still stuns me, the graphics of this particular game. Amazing. You gotta think, this game came out, I think this is the Sega version. I think it actually came out on Amiga in 1992. This version here came out in 1993. Oh, this is a good puzzle right here. I remember being a kid trying to figure out how to beat the clock with my cousin. We, we could not figure out how to get this damn elevator to stay down. Because we didn't actually see the stone at first. We knew you could leave stuff like the holocube in the, the little sensor, but we didn't understand that there was a stone there, and we hadn't found one before this point. And so we were trying to play beat the clock. And for that matter, what's this dude's teleporter doing up on this elevator? Anybody else ever wonder that? What the fuck does this thing even go to? Watch, it just kind of goes up into nothing. Is it they're trimming tree limbs or something? I suppose that's a plausible theory. We'll go with it. Ah, the save point. It's important to mention that if, unless you're playing on an emulator, you really should save as often as possible. The save isn't going to carry over if you power off. You're going to lose your save progress if you power off, because you'll have to start from the beginning of the map, because you've got to enter all the passwords and all that good horseshit. But, if you die, Instead of going to the beginning of the map, you'll go to where you saved last. And I don't know about you, but that's pretty fucking useful to me. Easily dispatched robot.
Okay, so we know there's a door down there. There's two doors, but we're going to get behind one right now. Which is going to lead to my favorite part of this whole game. I absolutely love this part. Hopefully, it'll work out for us. <laughs> I fucking love that. I don't know why. It's just so funny to see. Oh, I love it. Such a great part. Whoop. Okay, so maybe it's not acid, because robots can roll right through it. I don't know. It's something, and it kills you. That's all you need to know. That's all that's important. Yeah. In this area, a lot of people like to throw this stone that they find right here. And get that guy's attention, make him walk over to the stone. Pull their gun out, walk off the edge, get the drop on him. To be honest with you... Just like before in this level, you're going to get the drop on this dude if you just walk off this edge. No matter what. I like to do this. Just because it's hilarious how stupid these guys can be. What's next? Ah, the laser trap. I remember this part. We'll get to that. There's a key. Oh, that's a weird looking key. You know what? That's another good thing to note. Because in this scene, there is another item. But I bet you can't see it. Always keep an eye on the top of your screen. Right there. You see how you can't see it? But you can see it if you walk over it. Not that it really matters. Because I don't think the credits really do anything for you in this level. Other than the one that you're supposed to find. But it's important to keep an eye on what's going on up there. Oh, crap. Alright, chalk one up for him. Alright. This sensor is going to set off that trap back there. I'm going to show you how to get past it. So that you actually don't set off the sensor. Or set off the trap, for that matter. And right up here, this is the credits we were after. That 500 bucks that I wish I could find lying around in, the ra in a random forest. And if you want to use the generator, just drop down. Real simple. Charge up my Duracell here. Maybe, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe the Duracell is what you're actually charging and it goes into something. Because if you look up there in the corner, it doesn't quite look the same, does it? Alright, so anyway, I'm going to set this trap off just to show you how I would get past it. I know there are other ways to get past it. This is how I get past it. I don't want to say I know there are other ways to get past it, but there probably are, considering that there's two platforms at the top of this screen, or at least it looks like there is. But this is how I get past it. Woo, that was close. I just carefully time it. It's not too complicated. We are, after all, only in the first level. <laughs> I tried to miss it, but I failed. All right. We got that key. And that opens this door. What do we need to open the door underneath us? I should have looked while I was down here, but I forgot to. Card lock. So we're going to need some cards. And we do still have that teleporter. I guess we can go take that back to the poor bastard who's bleeding out. Now that we've been frolicking in the forest for an hour. Sure hope he's still alive. One thing I want to mention here is that you don't want to get complacent and forget that these traps are here. That's happened to me a lot of times while playing this game. That part and this part. So you don't want to get too complacent and forget that there's shit that's going to kill you instantly if you, if you walk through it.
Oh, I was hoping it was going to freeze me in the middle of the air. We already know, buddy. All right. There's your teleporter, my good man. Go get the medical assistance you desire. Give me money. Oh, he gave me an ID card. That works, too. At least that'll get us through the damn door. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys on the other side of the map. I'm going to speed this shit up, because in true video game fashion, we've gone, to, we've gone to one side of the map to go to the other side of the map. To come back to this side of the map. To go back to the other side of the map. Another reminder. At the Tickle Nuts tree. You don't want to get complacent. Because there are traps that are back here designed to shit in your milk. Hmm. Think I could fall down and turn around and shoot him before he shoots me? Let's try. Oh, so close. Oh, well, that sucks. That's what I meant by bumbling around. And this part here is such a good part. There are so many different ways to get past this. I, I, There's a few Let's Plays out there of Flashback. Let's face it, it's an awesome game. There's gonna be. And I've seen a few people get past this a few different ways. I might as well just show you most of them since I'm so close to my save point. That's the easy one. One of the easy ones. Let's go ahead and just, like, get shot. And then there's this one that I like to use, just because it just seems simpler. You throw a stone at the sensor and piss it off. One dude took the back of the head. The other guy's gonna take it in the face. Such a good trick. The only problem with that method is that it leaves the bodies over there. Even if you pick up that stone, that damn laser is going to keep shooting. What else we got? Alright, and here's the final one that I remember. You know, there's probably more ways to get past this than what I actually know. I'm sure you could actually probably just walk right off here, but I think one of them will probably get you. But this one I remember doing too. That was perfect. Couldn't ask for it to have been better. All right, so moving on. Okay, a random hillbilly just kind of lingering in the jungle. Anybody else hear banjo music echoing in their ears? Well, gee, that sounds safe. <laughs> he just happens to have one. Piece of high technology, you know, all that good stuff. Lingering in the forest. All right. 500 credits is an awful lot of money, dude. Where's he going to spend that money? Radio Shack? I mean, he's in the middle of a jungle. I suppose he could just jump down the hole and find a place in New Washington. Alright, that was episode one, The Jungles of Titan, for flashback on the Sega. If you enjoyed this video, if you weren't completely bored, please like, comment, subscribe. Maybe tell some other friends about us. Stay tuned for our next video, episode two, New Washington. And thanks for watching.